Tonight, new video you will see only on eight as a Tampa doggy daycare faces yet more allegations. Former employees are turning up the heat on the owners. However, today those owners are coming out swinging. News Channel A's Paul Mueller is live tonight at that lucky dog daycare. Paul? Well, Rod, the owners of Lucky Dog Daycare say they have nothing to lose. They claim, they claim they are the victims of a smear campaign by former employees. But those former employees tell me they are doing nothing more than just looking out for the safety of the animals. And I do want to warn you here, give you a heads up. The video that you're about to watch, it uh, may be a little too hard to watch. Exclusive new video from Lucky Dog Daycare. The final moments of a dog's life as she dies of heat stroke. At this point, I've got nothing left to lose. They claim the assistant manager left the dog outside for way too long, then waited too long to respond. But when she does, it's her and not the trainer who beats his fist on the floor who performs CPR. Both fired. Owners claim now they're smearing them all over social media. And I'll tell you what's intolerable is to suggest that somehow I've lied about this. These fired employees seem to come with a new allegation each time and, and absolute lies. The latest allegation, a third dog who died of possible heat exhaustion in July of last year. On Thursday, the owner said... Having operated eight years, we, we really never had an incident. We had, had uh, never had a do dog uh, die of heat stroke. Then Friday... Uh, the management never brought this to my attention. But shouldn't you know about it as the owner? Yes, he says. Then minutes later... The, the management staff intentionally didn't tell us, kept it in their back pocket for just this situation, and then tries to use this to smear our name. But in the past year, at least two former employees claim as many as six died. Former employee Amber Petrillo worked here until June. He told us there were only two. That's a lie. Why would he lie to us? To cover up everything that's going on to make their face look better for their company. But is she just a disgruntled employee who has an axe to grind? They can call me what they want, but at the end of the day, the safety of all the dogs at the facility right now is what has to come first. Absolutely. The lies have to end. It, it can't continue anymore. Back live. So what happens now? Well, the county is investigating all of this, and they give their findings to the state attorney's office, and it is up to them to determine whether charges will be filed or not. Rod. All right, Paul Mueller reporting live for us in Tampa. Paul, thank you. Yesterday, we introduced you to Vashti, the four-year-old dog who slipped and fell, resulting in two surgeries that led to $8,000 in medical bills. Well, her owner claimed negligence, and after our report yesterday, the owner of Lucky Dog has issued a check for those surgeries.